bills 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 watu wangu mjambo marekani now the biggest thing utasikia in conversations amongst kenyan americans ni bills 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 by the way wacha kwanza tu again ni nani atakuwa na shita marekani na bills go <laughs> mtu between mtu wa Nairobi na mtu wa Moshadha mtu wa Moshadha atakuwa na shida Marekani na bills kwa nini mtu wa Nairobi atakuwa poa mtu wa Nairobi atakuwa poa ni kwa nini uh, mtu wa Nairobi wacha tuanze na mtu wa Nairobi mtu wa Nairobi ameishi Nairobi so probably a high number hawana hawaoni nyumba wamezoea kulipa rent Eh, wameona wazazi wa kiliparent kutoka wakiwa wa yangu ah, wanalipia maji wanalipia stima ah, wanalipia sukuma wiki kila kitu wanalipia eh, wanalipia mtu wa kuosha paka wana, wana, wanalipia deke ya ubwa wana, wanalipia cat sitting wa hoteli so watu wa Nairobi hawana issue wamezoea kulipia mambo na wamezoea wamezoea kuishi Uh, kwa nyumba za kubaga wamezoea ma neighbors eh, kuna wale kama wale wametoka pipeline wamezoea ma neighbors wengi huko 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 kwenye nyumba una hang uh, ukiishi huko kwa floor ya juu nguo zako zitakauka vizuri sababu azimwagiki na maji mwenye anaishi huko chini akianika nguo zake hiyo maji hizo floor za huko zote juu inamwagikia nguo zake azikaukagi So wamezoea hiyo maisha. Wamezoea neighbors, wamezoea all that. No problem. So itakuwa ni transitory. Tra- transitory. So wataweza kuwa watakuwa na issue. Now wacha tuende mtu wa Moshala. Of which majority ya wakenya wamekuja Marekani wametoka Moshala. Now by Moshala mnaelewa ni inamaanisha nini? Ametoka huko Gishagi, huko Mahutine, huko Dharaine, kwenye kuna kuna Groda Tura kwenye kuna meigwa unatebea tebea huko una, kwa majani unakata meigwa kwenye unakatia ngobe dhara e, kwenye unapea buzi mahuti ya fagi lakini buzi haifai kupewa mahuti ya fagi utaua buzi itahohita <laughs> buzi ukipatia ma, mahuti ya fagi itahohita so msiende kusema hapa mshaba wewe oh, uliniambia buzi za kuna za pea fagi atizitanona no zitahohita Uta, zinaweza kuwa zizi utafikiria zimenona <laughs> lakini zitaohita that will be the, the, the end of the busy story so mtu wa moshadha uko ndio ametoka first of all watu wa moshadha majority ya wote wanaoni nyumba wamereziwa na watoto kwa shaba ya, ya ancestors wao na wamejenga hapo kanyumba free fair nothing nothing no cost hakuna rent wanalipa rent free so wamewatch wazazi rent free hawajui kulipa rent ni nini hata wazazi wao hawajui kulipa rent ni nini hawajui any of that sababu wanaoni hizo nyumba the other thing kama ni maji wamechiba mashimo ama wako na muto so bili ya maji hawajijui hiyo ni nini uh, ikikuja ni stima kuna wale ya yeah, wajezoea waje stima But size ya Kenya iko bere size kila mtu ana stima. Basi sasa ikikuja bili ya stima it's nothing big. Sio kama Nairobi sababu hawana expenses big, hawana makajet na mavitu mingi zinatumika kama Nairobi. E, na sio kudroshida watu watu wa, wa Mushadha. Uh, ninaokea sababu sidani ya tiki tu Mushadha uko na TV na stima kila mtu apo hivyo watu wengi Mushadha wana hizo luxuries. So ikikuja ni bili ya stima sio mingi. Ikikuja ni chakula very affordable wengi wamepanda waru, maboga, wako na chakula. Wako na chakula kwao. So they do not need apati ati ati shida ya chakula. Wana hiyo shida ya chakula. Uh, of which the, the, the expense kubwa Marekani ni nyumba. So unaona hiyo ishatoka aside. Uh, hawajazoea neighbors wao wako bali so hawajazoea nyumba za kukodisha fact watu wa Moshadha wana live very good life. Ukikuja Marekani ndio unajua watu wa Moshadha by the way they are the fully independent watu wanaishi maisha ukweli. So watu wa Moshadha kuna maziwa ikikuja ni maziwa si wako na ngombe. 
ikikuja ni matunda si zinatoka kwa shamba yao so barely yani wanalive maisha venye inafaa hakuna bills bills hakuna bill ya chakula wanaweza toa kwa shamba hakuna bill ya maziwa groceries bill yao ni ni, ni non existent sababu wanatoa vitu kutoka kwa kwa, kwa rana so nao hao watu ndio watakuwa na shida wakikuja Marekani sababu nao unaona nyumba wataanza kulipia wako na culture ya kulipia nyumba kama tu Nairobi no so it's gonna be very difficult wataona wanaibiwa wataona wanaibiwa so it's gonna be very very difficult wao kulipia nyumba uh, wataonaga yani i make sense na si ati nikupenda kwao it's what they know uh, ni kama uko mazoea ya kukura kukura mayai mayai ya, ya mayai ya paka unaelewa that is normal to you me grow up ukiona wazazi wanakula mayai ya paka alafu wende mahali kwingine wanakula mayai ya mayai ya jogo so ni nini tafanyika yani it is very difficult for you to switch kutoka mayai ya paka ukule mayai ya jogo and it's normal for you kama ume grow up ukijua matunda fulani maebe maebe ukijua maebe inakuwa inakuwa ya blue na unajua hivyo maebe ni ya blue ukienda mahali kuna maebe za red it will be very difficult for you because that is not for me for me family familiar 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 hiyo for you so hao ndio watakuwa na shida so my bills my bills zitawasumbua sana uh, wataona ni kama wanaibiwa and it is very very difficult uh, so ikikuja ni yao watu wa Nairobi na watu wa Mushadha watu wa Nairobi u transition vizuri Marekani in fact hata ikikuja ni, ni, ni relationship watu wa Nairobi hawanaga issues issues migi migi uh, sababu wamejionea hiyo hiyo mambo ya, ya, ya Nairobi yani hakuna kitu inawashtua sababu kama umeishi Nairobi you run Marekani it's just a new environment hizo ma tall buildings um, una, unajua pizza na baga so hizo sio luxury kwako ni vitu za kawaida basi sasa ukipata na mtu wa Gishagi maybe the first time amekuja maju ameona Nairobi ni akikuja maju so aja experience hiyo city life so yeye anakuja into a new world unaelewa ana drop you into a new world so the adjustment might be very difficult na once aki adjust they can be unstoppable um shaba migi kabisa reloaded <laughs> yeah? so because mnajua watu wakikuja Nairobi you change so watu wa Nairobi wakikuja wanaanza kutambia tutambia wakirudi wakirudi nyumbani hata wajui difference ya ngobe eh wanaita wanaita ubwa eh wanaita ubwa ngobe unaelewa paka wajui ni nini vizuri so cause wamejiweka wa, wa to class to class to Nairobi so so wakikuja maju inakuwa yani mingi mingi so watu hiyo wa, bills ma bills zitakuleta Marekani kabisa kabisa so you going to tutaogea sasa ma bills maze but that is the, the main thing utasikia ma bills ma bills sasa ikikuja ni hizo differences watu wa Nairobi watakuwa very okay na ma bills kwa sababu wamezoea kulipa uh, watu wa, wa Mushadha is going to be a very very difficult moment for them what i feel kama wanaibiwa especially kikamili kulipia nyumba they going to feel robbed so kwa kama walikuwa wanacheka watu wa Nairobi wenye wanalipa rent guess what wakikuja Marekani watakuwa renters because before ununue nyumba you have to be a renter there is no escaping that ukuji umenunua nyumba unless uko na cash so unless uko na cash most people kirad Marekani from homeowner kutoka Kenya you are a renter na you know to rent so kama mtu anakurigia waocha akikuja na, na, na huku hata radrod wako radrod wako mwenye yako huko Nairobi yeye akikuja Marekani atakuwa renter so probably hiyo itakuwa eh, character development yake aelewe vile we, kama renter unasikiaga so those are the itakuwa ma bills ma bills hiyo ingine sasa tutaongea ma bills guy chini guy wa chini niwaambie wa Kenya waambie wa ma bills Mm? Awabi watu kwaza kwaza wale um, wanalipia magari eh <laughs> gari kama hujalipia <laughs> unasikia sauti ya tow truck unajua zinaliaga kuna ukisikia gari kibaka up inalia ti 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 
So ukiwa kwa jumbo usikie hiyo hiyo sauti kilia na unajua kagari basi ujaripia unajua watu wa possession wako karibu wanaweza kuwa na itujia. <laughs> so watu wangu tutaongea hiyo eh, mobiles mobiles na marekani you cannot escape bills 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 watu wangu ni mshaba marekani mara nyingine yeah!